Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the showcase uh, presentation for the Care Rate International uh, team. So we are representing the company uh, CareBridge. The uh, company is a medical insurance company, and they asked us to produce a machine learning uh, model for their claims intelligence platform. So our major part of this uh, project was doing research, looking into which models would be most beneficial uh, at producing claims intelligence uh, results. So we would use uh, machine learning to predict future medical care costs for companies, and we presented these results to uh, CareBridge at the end. So the stakeholders for this project were uh, the founder and CEO, uh, Deborah Watkins, as well as Christopher Parkland. We uh, say thank you to these people for helping us throughout the project. We also uh, were in contact with Chris and Demendra, who is a developer for their uh, project. And we had great conversations with them discussing how we were moving forward and implementing their project on their servers. Uh, so for the team, I'm Simon Shanebeck. I was the project manager and squad lead for this project. Uh, with us today, we have Ujwal, who was our development manager. And we also have Wen Cheng, who is one of our developers. Uh, our other members are uh, remote, so we cannot have them with us today. We also say thank you to uh, Bill Browning, our project manager, Benoit Viriam, our tribe lead, and Mark Atkinson, our coach, who helped us uh, work through this project. All right, so uh, Carriage International gave us a opportunity to, or the problem that they proposed to us is uh, to predict medical costs for medical claims. So based on the history, the medical history of a certain claim, we want to be able to predict all um, procedures or medications that they might require in the future and be able to estimate how much money that would cost. And uh, that gave us a very valuable opportunity to not only explore and learn different architectures of machine learning, but also gave us very valuable um, real world machine learning experience. Um, and yeah, uh, it was a great pleasure working with you guys and I hope you guys uh, work well with our uh, um, models slash project. And here is uh, our skeleton about how we decide and how we build our machine learning model. Firstly, we got the data from CareBridge, and after we got data, we have to do some data cleaning to find some uh, non-space or wet space data, and we, we have to use this data to get the clean data, so we will have the validation data. And after we got the validation data, we have to split the data, since some of the data is already can be used, like the people's age, which can already be used in the machine learning model. But the, some of the data also need to do some encoding or validation, such as the description of the surgery or some description or for the some um, medicine medical and and plus and after we got those kind of data we will put the data in the mo model and to test the data and to see what the model performance whether or not the model is uh, uh, have a really high per accuracy which is overfitting or have a really low accuracy which is underfitting after you got the result we have to Based on the result, we have to adjust the model. Like the, we, we have to adjust how to split the, our data set, or we have to adjust some um, feature things in our machine learning model to help us to get a better accuracy or better performance for the data. Thank you, Wencheng. So our recommendations for the model. Uh, we did try the TensorFlow Recommender. This seemed like a very promising model to use since the recommendation system is uh, very similar to what we're trying to accomplish, recommending uh, procedures to claims. This was unfortunate, but it did not live up to our expectations. In testing, uh, the results just didn't provide high accuracy. Uh, we also looked at decision tree models. These did quite well, but the limitation with these is that they are used generally for clustering and not necessarily a prediction of specific procedures. So we consider that to be useful in the multi-level model, but not as its own uh, standalone feature. We tested the LSTM, the uh, long short-term memory, and this was our most successful model with a 80% accuracy score predicting uh, future events. So we recommend the LSTM for a full sort of system implementation. And we also found and thought that a multi-level model that utilizes a decision tree to classify certain uh, 
certain claims into categories and then run specific models on those categories of patients might produce better results. Uh, but we didn't implement that and we just gave our uh, thoughts in our documentation. Uh, we also implemented a rollout strategy and we discussed that with Chris and Demendra uh, with training tutorials and an integration plan. Uh, our integration plan here is we can see what we've implemented as a team. Uh, we took in the data, trained models, and produced model objects. And we also have the existing system, which is uh, CareBridge has claims, and they can make predictions on those claims. Uh, we presented a skeleton plan for uh, pre-processing, uh, predicting based on the object models we've created, and post-processing. Uh, we've been told that Demendra and the other developers at CareBridge are working on implementing that uh, in the future. So what are the values and highlights? So the final product value is we did a fair bit of research into a variety of models, and we found the ones that we think are the most likely to produce valid results. And then we did in-detailed, uh, in-depth research into those models, seeing which ones produced uh, what results. And with that, we produced a set of detailed documentation saying these models we think are uh, most accurate. We say that the LSTM is the best we could produce. We think that uh, a recommender system seems like a good choice, but with the data we have access to, it just didn't work out. And then we also presented a rollout strategy for saying this is how we think uh, this will be implemented, and it seems that this will be followed uh, in the future. Uh, also for highlights, we say that the LSTM architecture, it's uh, an older architecture compared to other models. Uh, we didn't try the transformer one, which is up and coming. It seems to be very successful, but that was beyond the scope of our research. And I'll say from myself, uh, it was a pleasure working with you and leading the team. These guys were great. Uh, and I'll say we all learned a fair bit of experience. Uh, for those, some of us had more or less uh, machine learning experience, but everyone learned a fair bit. And it was a pleasure working with the team. Uh, any questions?